Welcome to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. Every week we have a new guest for you, some leader in the community. And this week we've got Mary Kay Von Brendel, who runs the Ozarks Amphitheater, Director of Operations. And uh, thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. I know it's a really busy time of the year for you. It is quite busy, yes. Yeah, and so I guess, you know, you're putting together a show, you're trying to get guests to come in and then figure out when's a good time for them it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle you're putting together there. Very much so. I know, you know, we like to get shows that are in what we call industry-wise routing, so we can pick them up when they're going from point A to point B. Makes the price a little bit more negotiable. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of pieces that go to play in there. Tom Abbott is probably a key in coordinating all of this. Okay. Yeah, he's an excellent, um, like at Tetris, so this is one of those that plays high on his strong suit. Okay, good. So, and it seems like to me, and I'm fairly a newbie at the lake, mm -hmm. full time at the lake, but it seems like every year the Ozarks Amphitheater just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger shows. Definitely. Um, we are on a growth plan. Um, you know, when we started in 2015, you know, um, we really kind of tested what genres work down here at the lake. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we were still kind of getting, learning the ropes, getting our name, the Ozarks Amphitheater na known in Nashville, getting it known again community wide. And, you know, being able to, to fulfill those stepping stones just leads us the opportunity to bigger shows. Absolutely. And, and you have a big show and they like it and they tell their friends, oh, you got to go to the Ozarks. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of, it kind of works that way, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Like I always say about the music industry, it's a really big big world, but we all talk. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, artists will know if, if somebody had a bad experience at a venue. You know, one thing I think that speaks very highly of us to date, all of the artists that we have had have asked to come back before they left. That says a lot mm -hmm. right there. That's pretty cool. So how long have you been at the amphitheater? I've been at the amphitheater since we um, started in January of 2015. Really? Okay. Yes. Bill bought it at auction and uh, March of 2013, they did a lot of maintenance, um, had to kind of bring things back to industry standards, yeah. so, so to say. Yeah, and then I joined the team in January okay. of 2015. And, and you were telling me, uh, because we do an event together every week mm -hmm. that we have a lot of fun at, sometimes we get a chance to talk, and so you were kind of telling me, I, I asked you, well, how did you get that job? You get a fascinating story of how you landed the job of running the Ozarks Amphitheater. Yes. Um, well, I was new to the lake and um, have happened to come in the Pier 31 exit once and saw the sign for the amphitheater and was like, oh my gosh, there's an amphitheater here. And then learning from friends that no, that's not really true. There was an amphitheater. So curiosity got the best of me one day. So my son and I decided to go on a little field trip. Yeah. And yeah, we drove through a couple of gates <laughs> and got to the backstage gate. And I say when, you know, in your mind, you're thinking Ozarks amphitheater. So I'm thinking wooden stage or just a erector set and, you know, probably lawn seats. Right. And so when you're driving, th you know, through the back gate and you first get that first vision that it's real stadium style seating, I was like, oh dear God, it's a real amphitheater. And so um, parked the car, got out, got out on stage, sang. The acoustics are phenomenal. Wow. I had what I call my Oprah Winfrey or my light bulb moment. It was like, I need to know what's going on here because I need to be a part of it. So went home, did all my research, um, got a hold of Trish Creech um, from the chamber. Right. She got me Bill's contact information. So that was September of 2014. Sent Bill an email and said, I'm new to the area. This is my background. Would love to help you with the project. We talked back and forth for several months. When they were back on property in January of 2015, we met and there you go. Wow. Mm -hmm. So just kind of out of nothing, you kind of created this this mm -hmm. uh, that's so cool wow and you had that aha moment you went on the stage now you so obviously you're a singer if you went on the say, stage and sang what did you sing i sing two songs um much to my son's um digress um i sang <laughs> the national anthem because that's a good one for testing acoustics and then i also sang somewhere over the rainbow just to kind of push him over uh, the edge just a little yeah because he kept saying Mom, we're gonna get we're we're gonna get in trouble. You want to give us a little taste of that? No, thank you. Uh, okay, but I mean, <laughs> you you must be pretty good because you have actually 
sang the national anthem at a Blues playoffs game, right? Yes, I did. Several years, well, several years ago. Uh, they don't love people who are no good on the ice to sing for those things. So you must be pretty decent. How was that? Did you screw it up or were you good? No, actually, I have to say that was like one of the high, one I could say one of my highlights of my life. It was over 15,000 people. First time I've ever sang to that type of an audience. And it was so fun because you know, they give you some free seats um, for doing this. Yeah. And so as I'm walking up to my seats where my family was sitting, there was a Boy Scout troops. And so one of the little kids leans out and touches my leg and he's going, oh, I touched her, I touched her. And I was like, oh boy. Wow, how cool is that? It was a lot of fun, so, I really admit. Like, have you been a professional singer then? Or, or what, do you, what, what kind of a background do you have to have to be able to take over and run the amphitheater? Well, besides having experience in being a vocalist, mm -hmm. um, not never professionally, um, I also have done, have um, run some festivals. I worked with um, Art Good from Jazz Tracks in California and helped him with uh, Catalina um, Jazz Festival right. on Catalina Island. It's a big thing out there. It is very big, yeah. yes. And I also helped him with the Big Bear um, Jazz Festival in Big Bear, Another California. Another big thing out there. Yeah. 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 Wow. So um, really kind of learned from some great mentors. Um, Art Good, John Ertl, worked with some festivals with him. So, um, you know, had the opportunity to glean as much information about this industry as possible. It's funny how all those past experiences somehow come together for that aha moment of mm -hmm. this is the job. Yes. All right. So we're talking with Mary Kay Von Brendel, who runs the Ozark Amphitheater. I think you're director of operations. That's correct. Right? Uh, so we'll continue to get to know more from Mary Kay right after this. The Quick Car Summer Special. Unlimited washes for a month for the cost of a single wash. Ask about it today or visit quickcarmo.com. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time in Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Your time on the water is limited and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Discovered over a century and a half ago, Bridal Cave continues to amaze those who venture through it. As you tour through Bridal Cave, you'll see massive onyx formations, giant columns, and the one and only Mystery Lake. Bridal Cave's unique stalactite-adorned Bridal Chapel has provided a truly unique backdrop for over 3,000 couples from around the world. Bridal Cave is open daily, rain or shine. Guided tours leave every few minutes. Come explore the lake's favorite natural attraction. Explore Bridal Cave today. The Quick Car Summer Special. Unlimited washes for a month for the cost of a single wash. Ask about it today or visit quickcarmo.com. Quick Car. Quick, easy, and professional every time in Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Welcome back to Lake TV's Community Spotlight Show. We are getting to know Mary Kay Von Brendel a lot better. Ooh, that's, by the way, that's like not, can't be your real name, right? That's like a pen name. That's like you're an author of a novel, Von Brendel. I know, it is pretty spectacular, isn't it? It is, isn't it really it? is. Kind of you know, like when, you. When I have to give my name, though, mm -hmm. for when I'm ordering stuff or when I'm online with someone and I'm like, okay, I apologize ahead of time. I've got a two-name first name and then a two-name last name. Right. And you can just hear them go, Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, you, you like the spotlight, no doubt about it. That's why we have you on the spotlight show. So uh, are you a Missouri girl? Are you a native from around here? Did you come in from somewhere else? What's the story? I was born and raised in Washington, Missouri. Really? Mm -hmm. That's near St. Louis, right? About 60 miles west. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of from the area. I'm a Missourian, yes. Yeah, okay. So did you grow up in Missouri or did you go elsewhere and then come back? I lived in the great state of Missouri until my early 20s. Okay. Then, well, no, I, yeah, 20s. Um, then I moved to Wisconsin. Oh, sorry about that. I loved Did you really? I, I did. Is it I cold loved, up there? It's not as cold. And then I moved to Minnesota. Wisconsin oh. is not as cold as Minnesota. Wisconsin has more snow, although we were closer to Lake Michigan, which you get lake effect snows. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so there were some mornings where um, you'd have snow drifts at the back of the house where you would have to dig out so you could let the dogs go to the bathroom. Ooh, wee. 
Wow. Fun times. Yeah. I lived in Chicago for a year, so I know all about that. That's pretty cold. So then how did you make your way back? Well, in 2014, the stars had aligned and um, my parents were having health issues. Mm. I needed to be closer to home. So I had a friend that offered um, to let me stay here at the lake. So that just seemed like the perfect setting. Okay. And God had a plan for you here. So uh, you have announced some big shows mm -hmm. uh, this year, this summer. You just announced ZZ Top. Yes. They're huge. Mm -hmm. uh, and other big shows you guys have announced along the way. And again, we kind of mentioned it earlier. You guys just get bigger and bigger and bigger shows every year. Correct. So, uh, And we're not done yet. And, oh, you got more. We do. Okay. Well, looking forward to that. And speaking of more, you do more than run the Ozarks Amphitheater. Uh, you're also putting together a big birthday bash at the lake kind of a thing. Now, and this was your brainchild, so it's kind of yeah. your fault. You you come up with a genius idea, and then everybody expects you to run the thing, right? Well, it's like some of my dear friends told, were telling me that concerts need to start because I needed to get something to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, it was a mar it's a marketing idea yeah. for the Lake of the Ozarks. Um, Missouri's 200 years this year, yeah. and as I have told people, I don't plan on being at the next one, so let's just blow this one out. Yeah. Um, it's the best damn birthday bash at the Lake of the Ozarks, hopefully all summer long. Um, Missouri's 200, the dam's 90. Right. So it's fitting that we combine the two. Um, and we're doing a fundraiser because Matt Sutcliffe from Premier Pyrotechnics is going to be having um, the largest fireworks display for the state of Missouri on August 10th, which is the actual birth date of Missouri. Okay. He's gonna have 12 to 14 barges strategically placed throughout the lake. So wherever you are by land or water, you'll be able to see synchronized fireworks display. How cool is that? That's a great idea. He's pretty awesome. So you got the fireworks thing going off barges all over the lake, mm -hmm. which is gonna be very cool. Yes. And you've also, you're gonna shoot to break a world record Yes. Well, actually, fireworks are rather expensive. Yeah. So we needed to come up with a unique way to fundraise yeah. to host that fireworks event. What better way to fundraise than to host the largest boat parade, a Guinness World Record attempt to break the world record, which is currently in Malaysia with 1,180 boats. Hmm. Wow. So that's the fundraiser for the fireworks. Interesting, but both will be great events at the lake. Most definitely. Yeah. We just learned last week, which we we're very, very excited about. Two weeks ago, we found out from Guinness that we were finally accepted. Okay, so it's official. So that's a thing. Yeah. That's a real big thing. Then, uh, Legina from the uh, Tri County Lodging um, has been in conversation with the governor's office, and they said that not only did he want to come and be a spectator, he actually wants to participate. Wow. So the governor is going to be on a boat in the boat parade. How cool is that? Yeah. So are you going to put him like right up at the front lead boat or how's that going to work? Um, well, I think um, the mortgage headquarters will be the actual grand marshal because they're sponsored having the adjudicator come from Guinness World Records. Okay. So they're actually the, the grand marshal. And then I think they're trying to work out the logistics, but I think the governor will be in a boat then right behind them. Hmm. Okay, that sounds mm -hmm. good. So we're running out of time, only a few seconds, but are, have you figured out how it's all going to work so that all the boats can go and not get swamped and all that stuff? Tom Abbott has that all figured He's out. He's working on that. Okay. Exactly. Good. Good hey, luck with good that, Good hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, greatness. Okay, so that's all exciting. If people want uh, information on all of the best damn birthday party stuff, how do they get that? They can go to the website, bestdamnbirthdaybash.com, okay. or they can go to Facebook, Best okay. Damn Birthday Bash. Okay, and to the Ozarks Amphitheater, you guys have huge shows coming in. Mm -hmm. Tickets are flying off the shelf, right? Most uh, definitely. How do folks buy tickets to one or many of your shows? The safest way to get tickets online is to go directly to our website, which is ozarksamp.com, or you can get them in person, save those nasty ticketing fees, mm. by going to either Bridal Cave or... Uh, split Arrow Boutique down on the Strip. Really? Okay, so if they go to Bridal Cave, they can buy the tickets there? Yeah, and while they're there, enjoy a cave tour. Oh, yeah, you can't beat that. Steve Thompson, we love you over there. And it's always 60 degrees in the cave. They're always 60 degrees inside. Don't we love it when we cross-promote? <laughs> Mary Kay, thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate it. I greatly appreciate spending uh -huh. time. Go check out Ozarks Amphitheater, and thank you for joining us on Lake TV.